All right, we're back after a little bit of technical difficulties. back. I should put these out here. You'll probably go return death shadow shock my Liliana if I had to think. I think that's the right play. His last card he's got what do you do? Damage returns death shadow. Okay. So we got two draw steps for this Death Shadow here. I would love to hit. We can still go get Ranger either way, so we're good. So we still have plays here. I'm going to cycle this. I have to find an answer to that Death Shadow because there's a team of Battle Rage behind it. Lingering Souls isn't even that good. Lingering Souls puts us play this out. And I think I'm going to play this Bloodstained Mire. Fetch it out. <coughs> I think going to two, there's probably only one Colagon's Command back in, in his deck, and it doesn't. I don't think snapping it back is going to be relevant for the one life. There's a shadow. Then we'll sit here and die to the command. If, if my opponent has another one of those, my opponent's got another one. It is what it is. We have a couple good outs here. Liliana, we have another Terminate. But we are drawn thin. Our own Death Shadows will be good because that will be large enough to block this. Nope, that's not it. We'll see if my opponent goes for it. This is too bad because we accidentally click through our first turn. I'm going to block. Come on. You, my opponent could just let this go. Like, they're not going to. All right, and they scoop to me because they can't cash anymore. That's them being nice. Then we'll get back in there, get in the next match. I think I would have won that match had I not clicked through my Liliana, which is a little frustrating. But that's what happens. You get a little bit of uh, when well, you're just tired, you're playing Magic. It'll happen to the best of us. All right, there's the next match. Oh, 11 days ago playing blue-white control. That's bad. Yeah, I'm going to keep this. This hand's pretty good. Like, the Tar Fire is going to supercharge our draw or any less delirium for this. We're going to get Overgrown Tomb. Go to 15. Oh, thank God. Tarfire has text. Holy shnikes. Um, so I'm going to take this Noble Hierarch, hit this Noble Hierarch, which basically makes this quarter calling useless. And we can play Death Shadow next turn. So, yeah, this is going to be a pretty good start for us. 
Matchups like this make me want either a, maybe another piece of spot, spot removal in the de in the main deck or a third teamer battle rage. This matchup can be a little difficult because sometimes you just don't have enough spot removal to get them. But after sideboard, I'm going to get the fatal push, three brutalities, and a maelstrom pulse all to point at this stuff. That's a good draw too. That's going to get rid of any chord shenanigans. Get this. Actually, I need to thought seize so that my guy doesn't die to um, so that it doesn't die to oh, whatever it is. Um, this guy to walking ballista. So we're like this, then get this down. Hopefully my opponent misses again, and then we can just tar fire this this uh, noble hierarch and then play grim flare next turn. Going pedal to the metal, like we're gonna take, we're definitely gonna take four, three damage to do this. Be at seven, crack him for six, then crack him for, and we probably can kill him next turn if we get a reasonable draw. Cause six ten, if we can, we would have to increase the death shadow by four points though. So we need like a team or battle rage or like a street wraith into fetch land scenario because we're not gonna set the top of our library with this, with this flare. Good thing I saw that. That was almost bad. <laughs> I'm going to grab some more water. I'll be right back. Let me make sure this is going here. All right, they hit that. I still think it's probably worth just killing this. Well, no, this is a combo piece. My opponent can still cord for the same amount because of how cord works. So I'm just going to get some water. Though I could kill them before the combo matters and then cut off collecting company. So that's kind of like what my, what my line of play is. So theoretically, if I tar fire this, attack them for six. Then next turn, I attack them for ten plus one plus attack them for thirteen. They go to one, which would turn off a fe this fetch land. I think I'm tempted to kill this noble hierarch because I don't think I, I just don't see how they get back into it without a company. So let's go here. Missequenced, but it's part of the problems of the, the Wednesday, the Wednesday night post work streams. We don't always sequence right here. I'm gonna get stomping ground. Then play them flare. My opponent needs to get two perfect draws in order for this to work. And the crown and hold, and this just might flip. My opponent doesn't draw a spell and this flips, then this can't even attack, or can't even combo. So, I think it's I think it's right to do because we just want to cut them off of Collected Company. Collected Company is what beats us here, I think. And now they go to one. So, if they don't block next turn, and theoretically, this Overgrown Tomb can't come into play. Unless it's a Kitchen Fake. They're a Kitchen Fake, so they don't get it. Okay, so they hit a Druid. That was good. So now... Um... I'm going to fetch to not mess with my... Flare. Get this tapped. It's gonna be they drew a company. Liliana Veil vale, Inquisition of Dust. I guess I'll draw Liliana as it's a removal spell or a tick up, because we know three out of the four cards. I would assume that there's a company coming. Because I can't imagine why you block their 
Okay, so yeah, there's definitely a collective company. Okay, so we are gonna just let our Liliana in there, and then we're gonna get in. We're gonna need to present two blockers. Yeah, so they drew a company. At least we smelled that out. This is all right because we block, we let them block, something gets over, and then we find something to pair with our terminate next turn. And then we edict them. So they have a Liliana in there. So they have a collected company along with these four cards. We get in. We want to find something cheap to double spell. What does Inquisition do? Thoughtseize forces the company. Tarmor is just a beater. I kind of want to get the Inquisition because it's going to let me get the Court of Calling. So like next turn we go Inquisition, tick Liliana up, and terminate something. They'll probably company inside of combat. Though they could make Vega. Maybe it was good to get the Thought Seize there because then it forces the company. That was probably right to do. It was probably better to get the Thought Seize. As the Thought Seize would just force the company. We get them to play at our speed. That's bold. Now I wish the Thoughtseize was there. Well, this is actually good. We get both cards. We get both cards and we get the Devoted Druid off the battlefield. So that's actually worked out great. So let's start off by attacking with everybody. He jumps here probably. Gain through life. And then if, if this goes in at the Liliana next turn, I don't really care. Teamer Battle Rage, removal spell, no losses. Alright, go up. No, actually we do this first. And then I probably just get rid of this devoted druid. As I guess. What can my opponent do? My opponent draws exactly... I guess we want to get rid of this Devoted Druid because of Eternal Witness. It's just going to create more mana. Because the Devoted Druid, if they draw Eternal Witness, they can win company too. And now they're, they have a creature removed. The creature will die no matter what, and they have to block you. Got him. That was close. Alright, can I sideboard? I'll look at it at least. Come on. Mother, why are you going to do this to me? say the high quality program might as well toss this up here while we're waiting my name is Dylan Hubby if you guys want to on my stream thank you very much I'm an associated member with the card hoarder network sponsored by gamer craze which is a store in upstate New York with great singles prices if you ever want to check out any of my content you should check it out on YouTube I archive all of my streams there and if you want to interact with me about magic, then just check me out on Twitter. I love talking magic on Twitter. You know, love doing all that stuff. I'm a very vocal guy. All right, looks like we got to sideboard, which is great. So let's pull this back up. I swear to God, I'm going to get my second monitor finally set up here someday. Then I won't have to do that. Do that annoying crap. 
what is going on. Alright, Moto is still loading. Alright, there we go. There's my sideboard. Alright, so we want six or five, excuse me, five targeted removal spells. Little point and clickers. We don't want this. And we can cut an Inquisition. I'm actually going to cut one more Inquisition and leave a Liliana in. Just because Liliana, one Liliana is going to be really impactful. And we're bringing in three Collective Brutality, so the Inquisitions aren't as important. Because we don't really want to hit any uh, creatures, really. There's not a lot of creatures that you really want to hit with Inquisition. It's more or less like you want to get... Like, Eternal Witness is the big hit, but the companies and the cords are what really are going to screw us. A matchup like this makes me wish that I had a Last Hope in my deck. Like, I do I do wish there was a Last Hope in my 75. We have Chief this. And does nothing. It's going to play the Liliana on three, and he gets accompanied. Well, opponent Logan as well. This hand's very good. We can do the Bobble Trick. If we find... Any interaction, then we've got Delirium on one, whether that's a Tar Fire, Fatal Push, or Inquisition. So that means we've got 11 outs in our deck for Delirium on one, which is good. It's going to supercharge us up. If we don't get, uh, we're going to put that on the bottom. I think we just want to play to the board more in this matchup. Read the Primer well, was pretty good. Hey, thanks, Scott. Congratulations on your uh, run in the Classic there. You were in it. You were in it for top eight. That's all you could ask for. This is a... Mr. C is way better than Noble Hierarch. All right, Bobble Trick. Inquisition. Don't want Inquisition, so I'm going to go get Blood Crypt. That's what it's all about, though. When you get up there, you can feel it. All right. Um, I'm gonna deal with this so that I can like brutality the uh, whatever it is. Um, so I can brutality the oh they have six nice brutality the devoted druid. Burn out and John and John. They're like they're boring decks. Even this deck can be kind of boring. Like oh, there's another brutality. They're, they can be kind of boring to play, so it's nice to be able to switch. Like, I really like, when I got this uh, sponsorship, it was really fun to play, like, Grand or to play Storm. Like, I, I stumbled through both of those decks, but it was a lot of fun. God, I hope this is something I can brutality. I think it is. Nice. So, let's, I'm probably just going to discard this. I'm going to discard the Stomping Grounds. Ooh, okay. Okay. Now what do I want to do? I've still got to discard this. What is my opponent's chilling out in my draw step? Storm is in band after the PT. We'll have to see. All right, so I'm actually just going to go get Overgrown Tomb. Something I added that was in my article that I that I updated the deck because I submitted it about a week ago was um, I added I cut a fetch land and I added a second tomb. Show me a company. Then get rid of... I'm just going to get rid of the Overgrown Tomb. Having two red sources might be worth it. If we draw Tower Fire, Fatal Push, or Terminate. The third 3x seems good to miss out. I'm going to try it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Ooh, we miss, and they have an Eternal Witness. That's sad. I like it a lot because... Um, I like it because... Like the burn players have wised up and they understand how to play against Death Shadow. So they're not you're not just gonna get those free auto wins. And it's just nice to be able to help to hedge against combo decks because you don't have stubborn denial. Alright, so do I wanna play the druid or double death shadow? I think I wanna double death shadow. Then I can play the then I can deal with the devoted druid next turn. Play that so I'm gonna get walking blistered. There's the bird. Okay. That's pretty good. So that can actually go give me a street wraith. And then I can figure out if I want to do anything 
with this collector brutality, like check my opponent's hand. I don't think it's worth getting another Death Shadow because it's just not very efficient. And two Death Shadows is, is definitely going to be enough. Yeah, I think 5-5 five, five Death Shadows are worth it. Unless I want to play this to make my opponent chump, which is going to make Court of Calling worse. Yeah, I'm going to go like this. And then this just... This is better than looking in their hand when there's a potential miss. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think I'm going to fetch a land task. This block, instead of it being the bird, makes me think my opponent wants to have things to do with their mana. This means both shadows are dead next turn. Yeah, Collective Brutality is... I also kind of... Yeah. Yeah, I, that's what I wanted to do, too. Because when I played the five-color deck, I really liked having two Overgrown Tombs. And I like the Forest a lot. It allows you... I mean, if you read my article, like, the Forest enables Tarmogoyf games, which I like a lot. But it's just a good good little switch up. Yeah, so there, here comes the company. Which, I mean, they're going to have to hit really well on this. Yeah, we're just going to have no fear... That makes sense then to why they didn't block with the bird. Um, I liked having the fifth fetch, the fifth shock land, and I like the forest. Yeah, this is not very good. They gotta chump this. They gotta chump both of these. They only play a tarmac wave. Also, like it's not. It's also not trivial having the tar fire that your tar like gets huge. Like, tar fire is basically lightning bolt in this matchup, and it's really nice. So now they can actually block with their bird. All right, so now we go to combat. I guess my opponent companies in order to not die. And then we can just pick something off before blocks. Actually. I guess we'll wait. Because if this is a path to exile, it doesn't matter. They just path. I go to tap, they path this, then they can double chump. Yeah, there we go. I'm gonna grab some more water. After working all day, you don't realize like how much water I miss. I walked like 40 blocks today. Not 40, probably 30. Jeskai and Blood Moon. Jeskai is a... I think Jeskai is like a... I don't know. I think that's a feel smart deck. I'm not really sure that deck's actually good. I think people just feel smart when they play it and win. Like, it, it makes interactive games of magic, but I'm not sure that it actually just, like, can check the boxes for you to be successful in modern. I find myself a missing Abrupt Decay if I think that I'm gonna, like... Not for artifacts. I miss it for, like... Bogles, I guess, but like it's such a low percentage point to the meta that like not a lot of decks really play play uh, whatever it is. Not a lot of decks play enchantments. I miss it kind of in game one against Death Shadow decks sometimes because it's nice to just be able to kill Liliana. German. I don't recognize my opponent's name. Actually, I've totally played against this guy before. I just cannot think of what he plays or anything else like that. Yeah, I mean, this is kind of a sketcher, but this is one of those you gotta keep if you play Shadow. I'm selling it off in the band announcement. Yeah. Okay, so we're playing a Shadow Mirror. That's why I recognize this guy. So I'm not going to fire my bobble off until their turn, because I don't want to give them another card to look at. Alright, this is where the rubber meets the road here. Okay, so they're playing the blue version. They have an island? Whoa! 
Whoa, they have an island. What is this nonsense? I'm going to take Liliana. Even though it means they can play a shadow next turn, but we'll probably find an answer to it. It would just be, it would suck so, so I can take Death Shadow. Now I'm gonna, I can take Death Shadow and then take Liliana next turn and be greedy. That all falls apart by fun of fights like this card spell though. I think we're just gonna be an adult. Alright. I should have made them draw actually. I should have made them draw another land. Tarmogoyf. Tarmogoyf. That's interesting. Hopefully I hit a land here, so I can go take your decay. Play my own death shadow. Opponent's definitely got to be Goyf. I still play two decay, but only one tower fire and one tower fire for the list. Alright, so there's that. Come on. Oh, that's not bad. That's actually, that's actually pretty good. So now I need to like not die to this Tarmogoyf. So I'm gonna go to nine. I should make it so this terminates on. So let me go get Blood Crypt. Play the Blood Crypt. Discard their shadow. And then have this Tarmogoyf smack me. Terminate it. And then just start like throwing down some bombs. All right. Um, I mean, I'm just gonna upkeep, hit this with a terminate. My opponent, if my opponent drew a stub, is there one card? Then, you know, I got it. Should be in good shape now. That's great. These are huge. They got Island Abrupt Decay, so we still know some of their stuff. Let's play my two nine nines. You kill one of my nine nines. Don't kill my other nine nine. Don't kill my other nine nine. I have a fetch link. Okay. My opponent probably pees a little bit there <coughs> when they check that out. Oh, do you have a push? Oh, you have a push. I got a one. So the last card's Island. Right, um, I'm going to play Tarmogoyf anyways because it's going to make it so that I don't get hit by this. We'll go here. Hopefully this isn't going to move this spell. I should have done this. For, I did this all along. It's a street raid. It's a redraw. At least Goyf can still eat this. I should have bobbled on my turn to know whether I had to hit a... If I had to leave mana up to hit a removal spell. That was a mistake on my part. That was bad. I should have just, like... Should have waited. Should have done it earlier just to gain information. Oh... Uh, no, Capra, I'm in a league right now. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate it. I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you watching, sir. But, unfortunately, I'm, I'm, in, I'm leaguing it right now. I appreciate you checking it out, though. Yeah, I think Abrupt Decay makes your mana a little wonky. Are you playing the four, like, mark them spots? Are you playing four or five color? The five, and the five color makes your abrupt, it makes your mana pretty wonky. Well, we know he's two cards. He has Street Wraith Island here, okay? Because he hasn't played his island. We know he drew the Street Wraith. So I don't really know what they're doing here. Their obvious play is to Street Wraith and then hope. Interesting. 
Uh, Ghost X Empire is with the host. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Everybody coming over. Well, he can't fetch. He's got an island. Everybody coming over from his from the other stream. My name is Dylan Hubby. I'm a part of the Card Horror Network. I'm a sponsored streamer by them. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you guys don't, then that's Gerard Fabiano. That's who it is. That's I knew I recognized them. If he finds a fetch from a wraith, yeah. I mean he obviously should cycle. Yeah, I don't know what's taking him so long. Oh, he's going for He's going to try to hard cast the Street Wraith. Alright. So now... So what makes this difficult is... I can't crack this. And I can't really attack. Like, I can attack. And then play Grim Flare. But I give him another shot at hitting something. Like, then I have to jump with my Flare. And then if he plays Street Wraith. Hopefully I can get the hookup with Card Horror someday. Maybe one day, Ghost Empire. Yeah, so this is a Fabiato thing. Um This is interesting. I can put him I can put Fabiano to four. Play my Grim Flare. He likely then cycles this Street Wraith trying to kill trying to kill me I don't think alternatively I can play Grim Flare pass I still have the largest creature on the board yeah I think I'm going to do that I'm going to play Grim Flare and pass because if I find a removal spell or a basic for this Liliana then I'm in really good shape Get a little bit of, get a little bit of car filtering. This is probably puts the car on the bottom. It's hard finding this last land in these death shadow decks if this is what he's going for. Looking for, I've probably got, I've got four live draws, four draws that just, where you have four, six draws that probably kill my opponent. Three traverses are great. We got nine draws we're looking for. Teamer battle rage is pretty good. Even though, if we go Team or, Bat team or Battle Rage kills him, so we have to assign all the damage to the Death Shadow, and then trample over for the rest. Yeah, I appreciate uh, appreciate the uh, the host there, Ghost Expire, Ghost X Empire. And it's really not that hard to get affiliated with Card Horror. You have to just put the effort in. Make a really good application, fill all their credentials, and then you can do it. I mean, I, I've almost streamed for a year, kind of like the, the low ball grind them out game. And that's got me, that's pretty much, what, that's kind of what, how I got there. He's tanking. Uh, it's getting hot in here. Uh, I'm gonna get my computer glasses. I'm going to attack with my Grim Flare next turn, I think. I think I'm going to attack, depending on what I draw, I can attack with Flare, and I either get a hit in with Flare, especially if I hit a removal spell off the top here. Because I attack with Grim Flare, if, if Fabiano doesn't block, then I, 
If Fabiano doesn't block, then if I have a removal spell, I'm okay. If not, I'm in a little bit of trouble. But, so I, I'm probably, okay, so there's that. So his last card, okay. That's gross. That's really bad because the Street Wraith is coming down next turn. And he can just go fetch Cycle Street Wraith and eat my Tarmogoyf. If I just attack with Tarmogoyf. If I attack with Tarmogoyf. If I attack with Tarmogoyf and Grimflare, if he wants to, he can still make, he'd have to make the Death Shadow a 7, which means he'd have to take 4 shots and not die, so we can't even attack if he pass. Oh man, that's gross. Then the Street Wraith is going to do some work. No, if we if he plays Street Wraith, taps out, and we find a removal spell for the Death Shadow, we also find a removal spell for the Street Wraith, because they have to chop. So again, we've still got probably four out. So we're still playing that. What do you think about here, Gerard? You gotta fetch. Come on. You gotta fetch. This guy is. I mean, I get it. It's a tough spot, but like your your play is made. You're fetching and playing street rate. You chose you chose this line. You have to follow through with it. If you don't follow through with it, then it just doesn't make sense. All right, so he's got a basic forest. Okay, he drew a swamp. All right, so he's held in. It's not a bad draw. All right, I need a terminate. I need a terminate or a fatal push. Got it. The old true name nemesis. We just got a little bit behind in life there, which held us up toward the end. We're going to bring in all the grindy cards, same way we board against Grixis. Board out these, board out. But I like boarding out two Street Wraiths pretty much in most of these Death Shadow matchups. Your life total can get so low that you just they end up being dead cards. We had one in our hand. Gonna submit. I should give you uh check out Ghost Expires Twitch here. <coughs> Give him a follow. Come on. So how's the chat? How's the chat doing tonight? You guys hanging out? Been on its hump day. It's downhill for the rest of the week, which is always nice. Cycle the Street Wraith before fetching, so I wouldn't mind hitting another land with this. how this hand is set up. If I don't, 
this is going to give me Overgrown Tomb because it's the off fetch land, which the off fetch land is always sad. All right, we're going to find a way to clear the way for this guy, for the big man. The Mandel Myth, the Legend, the Lizard Boys. Liliana thought sees. So he thought sees is my Tarmaloif. Then thought sees is my Liliana, which gives me Delirium. I take his Liliana. If I take his Thoughtseize, he thought has the Thoughtseize my Tarmogoyf, but then the Liliana is a problem. I think we're going to take Liliana. This is just the best card in all of these matchups. And I might be able to play around it and get out ahead of it, but now, now he just takes Tarmogoyf, but so maybe I should have, but then I'm going to have my own Liliana. Which is going to be really good. But then he can thought see both of them. So maybe it was wrong of me to do that. The problem is that Liliana just makes everything so gross in all of these matchups. Unless you have a... Whatever it is. Unless you have a... Unless you have Lingering Souls. If you have Lingering Souls, then... Then Liliana's not as good. Ready for the week to be done. I think we're all ready for the week to be done. The Liliana is just like really, really annoying. It's unfortunate that like I hope to draw like a bobble. If we draw a bobble, then we kind of mess with what he's doing. So he's gonna thought seize my Liliana, no doubt. So I'm not gonna let him. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make sure this traverse is online. Though he might not take the Liliana. It would be very greedy of him not to, but. Yeah, more does. You are right, more does go wrong. Alright, here comes Tassiger. I guess I could have. Tra I guess I should have traversed because that means that if if Gerard plays Tassinger or um, if Gerard plays Tasker, we have it covered two ways. But then he just takes the Liliana and we pulse the Tasker, and then we're down to whatever Terminate and our draw step. And this didn't really turn into a card, so it's a, it was a pretty tight. It's a pretty tight set of lines there, which. I would have, I mean, like, to be frank, I would have thought out a lot more if, you know, I had worked 12 hours today, if I could have just sat here. But the longer he takes, the more it gets me to think about, you know, how I should have sequenced my turn, which is the wrong way to do it, but, you know, alas, here we are. Yeah, it's a tough take from Gerard. Because if he takes Liliana, I can just traverse. If he takes Liliana and I hit a land, then I think the House of Cards comes coming down for him. Because then I either pulse his Tassiger, or I just traverse for a Tarmogoyf and play it. Or traverse for a Grimflare, which sounds pretty good. It's unfortunate that like our best draw is probably like Lingering Souls. But we also want red for terminate, so like the swamps kind of kind of mess with us a little bit. <clears throat> I mean, he definitely doesn't do anything quickly. Definitely, definitely takes the time. Hmm. 
but yeah he's he's definitely stuck between a rock and a hard place I think if I were him I think I would take Liliana but man if he takes Liliana and I rip a red source or if I rip a land and he takes Liliana then it's really not good but if he doesn't take Liliana basically if I rip a land I'm in really good shape but if I don't rip a land I'm in a lot Yeah, and I want to let everybody know that if you're playing in a Magic tournament, if you're playing a live paper tournament, you should call a judge now. You should have. Yeah, Mark from Sports, I agree with that. You should call a judge now. Like, like you can get away with this on Moto because there's a stop clock, which is good. But without a stop clock, you definitely should call a judge here because just for, you know, I know a lot of people get draws. Like this is, you should prompt your opponent, and you should you should uh, you should call a judge for sure. There's an argument to him taking traverse, you know, because at least the traverse means that he's not getting beat in the face. The problem is if he doesn't take traverse. And he takes Maelstrom Pulse. That's that's an okay play because I don't have Delirium. May I think the take is just Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, yeah. You definitely call a judge and something like this happens. Like he can get away with this because he's on Moto, you know. But when you don't have a, you know, like he's only got ten minutes on the spot. When you don't have that opportunity in Paper Magic, you should. You should, uh, you should for sure, um, what am I going to say? You should call a judge. I think the best, I honestly think the best take for him is Maelstrom Pulse. Because Pulse deals with Tassiger, took Traverse. That's the, that's the second best thing. But if I draw a land, the game's over. Oh, I don't have Delirium. Yeah. And then, like, that's just, like, the nightmare. I'm gonna get Stomping Ground. And that's tough to stomach from Gerard, for Gerard, I think. Like, I get why they made that play. I definitely feel for that. Because that sucks. I couldn't traverse first fetch because I didn't have Delirium. I still don't have Delirium. I know, I, like, at no point do, I've only got, it's a little hard to see. Let me blow out my graveyard here. I've only got three card types. I don't even know if he's playing Snapper Cake Man. Oh, he's at Lingering Souls. Okay. I mean, it was all pretty bad, I think. This watery grave is gone. I don't, really don't like engineer explosives out of these decks. I think it's worth just... Because this could be a Snapcaster Mage. I think it's worth just taking up, ditching my Bobble, which gives me Delirium, and making it so a Snapcaster Mage doesn't get me. Land. Now we have Delirium.
This is Snapcaster. He's gonna opt. I'm gonna terminate this now. Yeah, I agree. I agree with that. I think he was taking he was taking the traverse purely because he didn't want it to lay the line. Let this opt happen. And then I'm gonna terminate this now just so he doesn't like double stub it. And we still have their next play. We still got all of his next plays pretty much covered. Discard spell into Lingering Souls would be difficult, but <clears throat> like if he goes Shadow, Lingering Souls, we've got that covered. Is this a Maelstrom Pulse? Or it's an Explosives? Yeah. That's interesting. So, I can just let him deal with this and then play another one. And then pulse the Lingering Souls tokens and have another Liliana in the bin. I think I'm going to do that. Just pass. He either goes like What's he going to do? He's going to go land. He's going to go flashback lingering souls or hold this. He could go flashback lingering souls and hold this. He spends his entire turn blowing it up. Yeah, I would say that's going to happen. I think I'm going to pass. I don't think I'm going to do anything. I would like to keep my Liliana around post engineering explosive slash lingering souls flashback. If he get a discard spell here, this hurts. a Dell card. Okay, he's delving. So if he goes, wow, if he goes, well, he's not, he's not, he's not going to go Dell card lingering souls. Okay, close it up. You got it. If I draw like a land here or something really redundant, I think I'm just gonna plus my Liliana. Cause this has gotta be Lingering Souls. Yeah. That's pretty redundant. Though I could use it for a redraw. I'm gonna use it for a redraw. That's good too. So let's go. This could be greedy from me. If he has his own Liliana, then I'm in a little bit of trouble. He ditched the land. This looks like a cantrip. So I could just pulse it. He was pump faking blue mana, but he doesn't have anything to discard. Yeah. I could just play Death Shadow and then Edict. That was if I play Death Shadow and then Edict him. Yeah, I want to keep all these around. I think I'm just going to play Death Shadow and then Edict. Kind of mopey, but leaves lingering souls in play. We've got the biggest thing on the board. If he 
he plays his own Liliana, we're in a little bit of trouble because he can then take up to ditch our Maelstrom Pulse. We're definitely in a tough spot. It's been an intense game. The hard part is, the sad part is we can't cast Lingering Souls even if we find it. <clears throat> so, it's, it's weird that like, our best draw is, maybe I should have done nothing with my Liliana next turn and cast it, or maybe I should have just pulsed both of them, played my fetch land and passed. I don't know. I don't know, I don't have the energy to figure it out exactly what the right set there was. I think... Oh yeah, we got ourselves on. That that lands that lands big game from him. That was the one. Sword of Light and Shadow. Jesus. You've gotta be kidding me. Was I getting back a task? Oh, so now I just we didn't attack. You can't do that to not attack with it. That's crazy. That's just so. That's such a bad play. Now I'm just gonna eat it. Like if you're if you're investing your entire turn here to play this spirit, you're shipping in. You're cracking me for three. I guess you die. He dies. Never mind. Well, no, he doesn't even die. Because he goes to... F no, he dies. I'm stupid. Yeah. Long... BMJ, we, we figured it out. We figured it out. Long, long day of work. Got us tired. Yep. Long, long day of work. Got us tired. All right. This hand is... Certainly, it's not great. We don't have a discard spell, but... He's only got five minutes on his clock. Ooh, we're gonna have an explosive turn. I would like a discard spell. I'd like if anything of these were a discard spell. Alright. So he knows that if we go long, he's in trouble. Like he probably cut the Bobble Street Wraith package over soon for Snapcaster and some cantrips. <clears throat> Get our slow trip on. Hands very good. Yep. All right. There's not a 100% chance I fetch here because of Liliana. So I kind of want to see what we got. We got Inquisition. I think I'm going to keep that. And then and I'm going to draw again. All right, I'm gonna bobble myself to see when I, actually, I'm gonna bobble myself to look at my top card to see if I wanna shuffle it away. It's a polluted Delta. I think I want that Delta. So I'm gonna Inquisition a code like him. Fatal push, fatal push, engine is explosive. Yeah, so we just take engineered explosives. And then we draw the polluted delta. Oh, we let the trigger resolve. And then just godless shrine, fatal push this. Oh, that's death shadow. See, we're tired. And then we just, now we just card economy. Like if he can't play this, if he does not draw land here, he, he's in a lot of trouble. And then he's, because he's so low on life total. All right, um, this puts, we go get, oh, that sucks that we can't. Uh, we've got, how many red, so we only have two red cards in my deck and Traverse is online. What am I traversing for? Traversing? I guess we need another land anyways. I'm going to get this Blood Crypt. Make it so Terminate is a live draw. 
Yeah, we got him now. Because now, now he has to start interacting with these spirits. Unless, if he draws, if this is a delve card, then the game's going to get difficult. Yep. All right. All right, so we Inquisition take a Fatal Push. Let's see, goes Push, Push here. Yeah, it, it's definitely a really sad spot when that's what life has come to. I think I want to Inquisition him. Take a Fatal Push. Make it so he's going to dismember something. Flashback Lingering Souls, probably. Then attack for two. Next turn, play two of these. Because this dismember is going to go dead really quickly. Or become really inefficient. And I don't think that he has any reach, like Team or Battle Rage, in his deck. And then next turn, I can play Death Shadow and Tarmogoyf, and he's going to have to take a lot of damage in order to kill these things, and we're going to put him to three. Take this. Okay. He's like now, which is rough. So, that actually finds us a forest. So, I think I just attack. I think I just attack with three, leave one back to block here, go get the forest. Play Tarmogoyf Death Shadow. I do like multicolor shadow versus Grixis. I like how just linear this shadow deck is. I like how you don't get those, like all of your hands have game plans. You don't get those hands that are just cantrip, 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 you know? You get those hands that are like, this is what I'm trying to do. So I think I attack with three, leave one back. I think I just attack. I could just attack with all four. Because what's he going to do to me? He can't... If he pushes either of my ground creatures, then he dies. He basically needs to draw his own Lingering Souls, and I should make it so that if one of my Lingering Souls gets through, that he's dead next turn. Yeah. I think we're going in with... We're going in with everybody. He doesn't have Team or Battle Rage or anything like that, so we're going to attack with the team. Then traverse for a forest, and then play Goyf Shadow. So that if, for some weird reason, if this game goes much longer, we have Ranger. Okay, that's good. The full retail and the dismember. We still go find the forest. There's no need to take damage or shadows big enough. Yeah, Scott, we were gonna we were gonna do that. We were just trying to think about like what else we were doing. I agree. He thought seizes himself to get lingering souls in the graveyard. So his last card. So 
Kulesh. And that does it. Yep. Got him. Alright, let's jump in here. Let's go for the old Cinco de Mayo here. There's no outs in this. Yeah, I, I, I was looking and I didn't really see a lot going on for Gerard. I'm going to grab a water. I'll be right back. I'm not sure I flat out played him, but I do think in a lot. So I, I wrote a traverse. Let me get this up here. Let me let me get everyone hook everyone up here. I wrote a traverse death shadow primer here, and like a lot of people were talking about it. They're like, "Hey, Reed Duke just wrote one. What are what are you writing one for?" And like. I'm certainly not going to sit here and say that, like, I am a better Magic player than, like, Reduke or Magnus Lanto or all those other Death Shadow people. This hand sucks. It's that I I sit here and... How do I say this? I've played this deck enough to where I understand, you know? Like, I wrote that... Because I understand this deck really well. And that's because, like, I get to play this deck all the time. Oh, that sucks. Um, I'm just going to keep that on top. I think hitting the second land drop's great. We have this Liliana. I really understand this deck. I love this deck. I think it's great. I think I think people that... Yeah. Yeah, from that MTGO guy, yeah. The, the pros, like, like, if... If I could, I'm sure that if I could download the information from my brain into Reduke about this deck, he would dominate. Okay? He's way better magic player than I am. Or he would take that information, he'd play it a little longer, and then he'd figure it out. Oh man, our hand sucks now. You know? But I think that I have a real good understanding of this deck. This is a really explosive star. At least we're probably going to have to lead off on an Inquisition to hit. Alright. That, that was what we would have liked to hit. So we gotta draw this card here. So let's get this into play. Um, Miser, my name's Dylan Hubby. Alright. At least my opponent doesn't have a lot going on. But, we're gonna have to kill every single one of his creatures here. Yeah, sometimes I dive into standard. The only problem, like, I'm, I'm sponsored so I can play all the standard decks. The problem is I really like standard, but with how, like, intense my work schedule is right now, it's really difficult for me to jump into standard when it's moving so much, you know? Yeah, well, I mean, Mirren, you should check out my, uh, you should check out my Twitch channel, which is linked below there, or my YouTube channel, where I've got probably 75, 80 hours of Death Shadow. Okay, so what am I doing? They're equipping. Alright, so we're killing that. This game's not going to go well. Anyways. But I need to draw, like, removal spell and a removal spell and a removal spell. Yeah, if you want to check it out there, I wrote about it. There, why, I, why this version of the deck doesn't play stuff. I don't know which one's better, to tell you the truth. I've played... I played both versions a lot, and there's merits to each. Okay, so one animate, two equipped. God, playing this Lily. Like I want to play this Liliana, and I want to just edict this to make it so his next turn is just awful. 
but it's just not accomplishing it. Because, like, his next turn's gonna be, like, Opal, activate... He can't even get his Ink Moth into play, because he can't equip, right? Yeah, I guess I actually do play Liliana and Edict. Because he can't generate... I guess he can equip with this, but it makes it so his turn's kind of clunky. I don't know. And then if I draw a Fatal Push, I can go push into Tarmogoyf. This Cranial Plating is just, like, really gross. We get a lot better after Sideboard here. Like, after Sideboard, we're going to get in Lingering Souls, Ancient Grudge, Maelstrom Pulse, another push. Like, we get a lot of goods here. Okay, that Spire is not bad. So he's going to crack me for five. Okay. He's going to crack me for six. It's one, one. They're both artifacts. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, he's going to crack me for eight. Eight. Way more. Way more. Let's just ignore this, Liliana. Wow, you're kidding me. This gives me delirium. I don't think that was a good play. I guess I guess it was like it's kind of marginal. Yeah. So we're just Yeah, we're we're good. We'll go improve the deck up a little bit here. So I like to cut all of my veils. I like to cut three thought seizes in two street raids. I like to bring in Lingering Souls, Push, Kataki, and Grudge. And grudge. I don't think Collective Brutality does them enough. Two mana to not kill everything is just too slow, I think. I don't think I would rather go like this. I keep two Street Wraiths in because you need Delirium, especially if you have a bullet for Kataki. And early Kataki is really good. Need to get back on that U buff. I like that deck a lot. I really do. I think, I think, uh, I think if I was gonna go, if I was gonna go to a major event, and I wasn't, I think my three decks that I would be interested in learning more about are Martyr Vehicles, Mono Red, and Blue Black. I think those are the decks. I either want to be really aggressive, or I want to play a deck that goes over the top. I played an absolutely insane match yesterday, uh, the last time I streamed with that blue-black deck. Holy shnikes. It was, again, it was a Wednesday night, fast and loose, we clicked wrong kind of thing, which, you know, happens to the best of us. Or we would have we would have won. But we played against, I think, Conley Woods, blue, or Conley Woods, like, Esper deck or something, like, or Grixis. Puppet deck, I think he calls it. Wow. But, whoa, didn't that guy... Wasn't that a, a barn... That, was, that deck was just... That matchup was just haymakers off the top. So this hand's not great, but we have Lingering Souls, Interaction, and Grim Flare. And Grim Flare's, Grim Flare's really good in this matchup because you can mill over... You can get Delirium, which is great, or you can mill over cards like Lingering Souls and Ancient Grudge for card advantage to dig what you need to. I'm probably going to Fatal Push basically anything here because my mana is going to be pretty spoken for. Wow. All right. I think this is a tap. This is a tap. Uh, probably a tapped Blood Crypt game here. Jeez, that's rough draw. This is a stomping ground. <clears throat> then let's hope the man, the myth, the legend takes us to the promised land. Guy would be sick if we just like ripped a Kataki. Kataki used to be much better against Affinity. But thank God they don't let us do the stuff they used to do. Ravager. All right, that's not bad. I'm tempted to cast that over the Lingering Souls because I'd like to hit an Edge Champion, but 
I don't know. Let me attack first. Let me see what we have coming. I definitely want to kill this before my opponent puts any other artifacts on the stack, I think. I haven't played the Grixis enough to really know their Ace Nate. Like, um, oh wow. So we can kind of get our cake and eat it too. That was a good hit. So, how much trouble are we in if our opponent lands a cranial plating? And I think the answer is a lot. So, I think we're going to go like this. Yeah, I'd rather Fatal Push next turn. Yeah, there's the plating. Good to know that Master's there. So we save our Fatal Push to deal with the Master next turn. It is going, like this Ravager is going to get big, which is kind of annoying. Yeah, I don't know enough about Grixis mid-range, to tell you the truth. The deck looks... The deck looks good. You know, like... It just kind of does a little bit of every... I mean, it looks like a teamer deck. You know, it looks just like a really good... Little bit of everything mid-range deck. That dude's gonna die. That's pretty bad, to tell you the truth. Because this thing's just gonna, like, make everything big. Let's start here. Then I have to find a way to deal with that master here. But I can kind of race, like I can kind of just serve in here for two. You should move it onto this signal fest. I can serve in, flash back lingering souls, push something else. But I have to find a way. This master of the theory is going to be a problem. Yep. And this gets a basic, basic swamp. And we get in there with Grim Flare. All right, so we have Delirium, which is good. The problem is we're not gonna be attacking anymore. So I think I've gotta just ditch all these and find a way to get through with my Grim Flare. We just gotta flash five, like just kind of try to gnaw through this stuff, these lingering souls. <clears throat> Man, Kotaki wouldn't even be that good right now. I'd take it. Like, you know, let's not be greedy. That's bad. That's really bad. That might warrant like a just ship with everything kind of block. Because he goes block, pume, take one, two, three, take six. Yeah, I think we might be going going to full full beat downtown here, then playing another tunnel wife. Cause he's just gonna die. Like I gotta I gotta look to put a hurt on my opponent quickly. I think this is worse than playing Master. I think, I don't know, Master's going to be pretty annoying, but <clears throat> at least this could block, I don't know, I don't know what's going on in the world anymore. So he blocks one, shoots another, so we get him for six, then we play Tarmogoyf and Lingering Souls, look to set the top of our library like a Maelstrom Pulse would be sick, and Ancient Grudge would be even sicker, Ancient Grudge would be insane. Because we can cast Ancient Grudge, flash it back, and flash back Lingering Souls, which would just be like unreal. Wow, it's not gonna block. Okay, that's that's un that's that's crazy. This is a free block. What are you worried about, dude? 
All right. What does Traverse do? Traverse goes against Kataki, which isn't even that good in the face of all of these. But the Kataki effect still goes on the stack, so if they get sloppy... Alternatively, I could just take the Tar Fire, which is going to give me some reach. But I think I'm actually just going to take the Tar Fire. Because <clears throat> the Tar Fire is going to grow the Tarmogoyf. It's going to kill a creature. Hey, Johnny, how's it going? Okay, so now they can shoot four things, two things a turn. Okay, so we drew tar fire. Forgot to host. It happens to the best of us. <clears throat> so if I attack with Tarmogoyf, if I attack with Goyf, I mean, this is tough. So if I attack with Tarmogoyf, he animates this Ink Moth Nexus. I shoot this. This is still a 5-5. Five five. This wins in combat and the Tarmogoyf grows. I could just swing with the team and then see what our opponent does with blocks, which is kind of what I'm thinking I want to do. I don't really don't want to play very much more of a long game with this gear for Aether Grid. Especially we can flash back these Lingering Souls. Because we, I think we're going to be able to... If this Master of Ethereum gets in combat, we're going to be able to beat it. And I think that's what we want to do with this with this Lingering Souls backup. My opponent's pretty much on empty. Didn't quite think about this all the way through. Like, we did just kind of, like, you know, turn them sideways. Because, you know, Wednesday night streams here, we're just, we're just going for it. The tight plays on Sundays. Sundays is where we turn it on. Good. 4-1's good. If you 4-1 every time, then you've broken the modern format. <clears throat> All right, so... I tar fire this. They shoot something, but it doesn't really matter. It might matter. This also gets me a trigger, which is nice. They're gonna have to dump their resources into like dealing with this Tarmogoyf with this Ether Grid. Like, his master's dying. Which is great. I wonder if it's ever, like, infuriating for people to lose to Tarfire. <sighs> you speak joy. I appreciate your comments. There, Johnny B. Johnny B down here, 17th at the Team GP, at the Team SCG this weekend. Missed the cash, which kind of sucks, but got 17th, which, out of that, how, many, how many teams were there, Johnny? I'm going to keep it the way it is. We're not sideboarding differently. <clears throat> All 
Oh. Sorry, Ace Nate. Maybe it's time to take that, you dirty rat. Yeah, dude, way to go. It's a good finish. I wish I wish I knew what Ace spammed here. But stop spamming word phrases automated by Nightbot. I would get rid of Nightbot if it wasn't for the music. Nightbot's just annoying. Yeah, you guys did well, man. That's where it's at. You had a good time, you guys posted a good result. Come on. Alright. Come on, this is killing. You're killing me. You're killing me, Bog Tempo. You're killing me. You are slower than frozen ketchup. Now, tossing this one back. Even though Teamer Battle Rage is one of our is in this matchup, we can't keep a hand without any interaction. And we have zero. We have zero. You could guarantee me there was a Death Shadow and then Street Race under it. I would keep it. But... Oh no, I hit the key. God. Oh my God. This is what? This is Wednesday Dylan. This is the old 12 hour, 12 hour Dylan here. Well, that's a good draw at least. <laughs> what happened? Why? What they? What did they uh, ban you for, Ace? What do you do? We don't want that. So maybe we get Blood Crypt because tar we can have Tar Fire as a good out. Or we can get Fatal Push here. I'm just going to take out my opponent's drawing. Yes, the Bobbles need to save us. We don't need that. They're drawing a Mox Opal. No, I don't. A few too many M's. No. No, that's Nathan. This game is this game is sad. Yeah, that thing's gonna kill us. That is gonna kill us. I mean, if we draw Death Shadow, we definitely have a chance. Just because Team or Battle Rage and Death Shadow is a combo. What is this like a? Just plays another one, which we knew was gonna happen. I can't wait until work slows down and I'm just not like losing my mind here and I can actually like stream some magic. <clears throat> God, if I just rip this Kataki keys and crow. We've got like No, oh, Master's a good hit. Alright, so this gets stomping ground. Tap. We've got like a couple draw steps to hit. That sucks. I mean, that's that's game over because this team or battle rage is the only way we catch up. I mean, we won't we won't pack it in yet, but all right, calm down the the dumb talk, Johnny. We can only take so much. Oh, wow. That was definitely not the take. Oh, that's good. You shouldn't do that anyways.
Me pavo. <risa> Alright, so we're getting cracked here for five. We probably got... I don't know. We got... If we draw Death Shadow, we can do it. But it's gotta be like Death Shadow this turn. Because Death Shadow Lingering Souls... Is gonna... Is gonna give us a shot. No, not all in. We're... We're good. We're moving on. That's sad. But we can still get the 4 1. So let's just put it up here. Oh, we're already paired. Nice. Yeah, we can't ship this. No good. Pen's not much better, but we're gonna keep it. What do we got on top? We don't want that. Let's check out. We don't want that. We'll get Blood Crypt so that we can Tar Fire slash Fatal Push anything. And pass. <clears throat> Well, yeah, that's not bad. The Sneaky Pete. Oh, he's playing Ed? Okay. Oh, this guy's the Sneaky Pete. He's, he's up there, if I remember right. I'm the old, uh... Well, maybe not. Cool name. We didn't need another one of those. We're trying to get another one too. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go to bed after this one. <sighs> Alright, we're gonna go like this. Bring in our brutalities. Bring in the extractions. Cut the fatal pushes. Cut these terminates. I fetched the Godless Shrine on accident, Johnny. And I'm like, I ain't playing. If I can't cast my Tarmor Life on two, I'm not winning that game. Uh, cut the Tar Fires. And that's six for six. I'll lose to the Lab Maniac plan if that's what they want to do there. That's like the biggest part about this work schedule is that I get back here and I, I find myself like the motor skills of like not caring you just click and you miss something like I battle raged a, like one of my opponent's creatures a couple days ago one two three guys hand is three quarters of the way to delirium finds me another land which is delirium I'm gonna keep this one Tan gives me delirium and has a battle rage and has a double redraw here Dude, we're, we're nothing but clever. I'm actually going to keep this, because, like, if I need a lay of the land, then I can lay of the land. And that gives me Delirium, which gives me a Death Shadow. If my opponent ley lines me, then 5, 6, I can play Death Shadow on 2. Yeah, I'm definitely, I'm just, this is a heater. You didn't get, I didn't talk to you before this happened. My opponent rolled a four, five. They're hooking me up. Show me a ley line. No ley line. Sad. All right, let's check out what we got here. Oh, it's a delay. See what I'm talking about? These like motor skills that we suck at? That's a death shadow, which we want. So let's, now we have delirium now. So let's just go get overgrown tomb. Traverse for a forest. I guess it doesn't really matter. We're not, it's not like we're playing it next turn. I'll get another black source. Because we're most likely, we're just traversing for a blood, uh, for a bloodstain miner next turn. And then we're going to play Shadow.
Dude, I love GC Verset, but he does not he does not deserve to wield that kind of power. Johnny is the only subscriber that has ever been banned from a Twitch account, I think. Oh, this is uh, not a double death shadow, unfortunately. So is it worth three, seven, all right, now I got, now it sucks. I actually have to do math. Okay, three, 12, five, draw a card, could be anything. Next turn, I can go down to seven. Get screwed by an unlife. Rage will win through Unlife though, which is nice. So let's go. Okay. All right. We're probably gonna cast that on whatever we get a target for. <clears throat> God, imagine there's another Lotus Bloom, but they they just suspend it. That sucks. I want to cast this so bad. Okay, so this comes off. Suspend next turn. So, I don't have another green source. So if I go here, traverse, get Street Wraith. Cycle Street Wraith, five, Seven. Seven, they go to 13. They're dead next turn. So they have to use a combo piece. <coughs> Alright, so let's go get a Street Wraith. I'd love to find a discard spell. Okay, that's probably the next best thing. Dude, I might lose this game. There's, there's totally a world where I lose this game. I guess New York's big enough. So there's two hubs in New York. Now I think I can win here. Can I win through an unlife? No. Okay, so I went bottom, bottom. Yeah, I mean, like, what are we doing, right? Then I can, even if they unlife here, I can surgical the unlife. into five opponent on turn four is still potentially lost <sighs> all right so do i want to change anything on the draw i don't love this many veils on the draw but like the only thing that i'd bring in for is like fucking ancient grudge which i'm not wild about oh my name is hove h to the ov except i don't sell drugs <sighs> or formerly sold drugs um, yeah, these are all, this is just like so mopey, these ancient grudges. Yeah, dude, we beat the shit out of our opponent that Mulligan defied. Yes. Ship this hand. If my opponent laylines me, his hand doesn't do anything. You 
Yeah, we'll keep this. We'll put that on top to redraw and, and working towards delirium, which we're gonna need this game. Holy shnikes. All right, so this is gonna get a little harder here. All right, so we have two bobble. We wanna get rid of this bobble. And we're gonna traverse. We're gonna get stomping ground and then traverse for a swamp. And then we're gonna surgical the next target we get because um, it's going to give us delirium. So, like, whatever we see, whatever we get a chance to surgical, we're going to do it. Grudge is regional against Bloom and Prison. Yeah, I could have, I could have done that. That sucks, but we had to get it in the graveyard. Alright, Surge going that. I hope he goes top top. Bottom top, City of Brass. No. We're just gonna surgical that card that he kept on top. This is basically just to get delirium. There's not really any other point to doing this besides this. It's not like I'm gonna be able to discard spell something. And it shuffles their library, which I'm assuming they kept the land on top. Oh, I didn't see their hand. They what they had? They had Lightning Storm. They had Adnaz. I think they had Unlife. And I don't remember the other card. That was all that I saw because they just drew a card off of this. <clears throat> oh yeah, this is good. No, they didn't draw a card yet. So what was their other card? God. Lab Maniac. Oh, that's gonna suck. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty awkward play, but I think I had to do it. Tarmogoyf? Oh. All right, let me check out my top card. If I don't like it, I'm gonna traverse for a Tarmogoyf. There's a Tarmogoyf. Um, yeah, I'm going to draw the tunnel, but that's what I traverse for, so it's not like I get cast it, so there's no point. Yeah, you guys were talking about it. So that's what he drew. Okay. Alright, so let's go find another Tarmogoy. find Grimflare. Grimflare would dig me to like a Liliana or a Maelstrom Pulse. Yeah, let's... <coughs> so we're going to do four. Then we're going to do eight. Gonna be a, this is this is weird. Yeah, dude, you guys are talking about this in the chat. What are you gonna have him play? There's the end life. I knew that was coming. Let's see what we're drawing. And this is this is a this makes um I guess I shouldn't have done it like that, but unless I draw a tar fire. There's nothing super relevant. Yeah, I mean, I might as well just draw more Tomagoyfs. Like, I'm going to need those in order to beat through this clock here. We're going to have to try to just get this offline. Oh, they suspended a blue. Okay. So, I... Yeah, I don't really see... I don't really see how we win this one, ladies and gentlemen. 
I think, what are you going to have Dave play? Did you have Dave play Mardu or Abzan? I guess he could play Jun too. Double on life. All right. I guess I should have been de digging for Maelstrom Pulse now that I think about it. It's actually not a bad draw. I'll just get Blood Crypt. He wants to play Jeskai. Yeah, I'll play that. He's played that before. That's right up his alley. <laughs> All right, well, that's going to grow Voif. Hold on. Hold on. Can I get him next turn? He's got Lightning Storm Lab. Maniac. I actually can get him next turn. If I get to Battle Rage something, and he doesn't play a blocker, then I got him. Because how does this work? This shuts off... Wow. We're going to do it. Are you gonna, if he's got Pact Negation... I guess Pact still loses. You need Angel's Grace. Yeah, I mean, we're going to go for it. And then... Figure it out after that. Yeah, this is going to be insane. Wow, our opponents have six. No way. No way. Oh, my God. What a crack of crap that was. <laughs> As my... I mean, that's a 4-1. As my eighth grade basketball coach used to say when I used to bank in three pointers he would say they don't ask how they ask how many so I really appreciate all of you guys here showing up tonight and hanging out if you guys uh if you guys like what you see uh give the stream a follow I will not be streaming this Sunday as I've got work to do I hope to get in a stream couple streams next week that would be great i'm gonna look to ramp it up a little bit in march when work calms down but work is just like work's just really really gross at the moment um changes to this deck that i would make um if i was going i'm, I'm interested in another battle rage somewhere in the, the main deck here i think i think i'm just a pretty big fan of that so I will I will check out where that is, but for the time being, I'm going to send you guys over to another member of the Card Hoarder Network here. For now, um, yeah, I think this deck is really good. I think this is the I think it's like the one of those. This is like the best deck that people aren't playing, in my opinion. And I think part of that is because people like playing with their Snapcaster Mages when this deck is no different. But I'm gonna send you over here, backslash host, infant, infant, no, one. So thank you guys. I hope everyone has a good rest of your night. You guys take it easy.